As long as there are stars above you, you'll never need to doubt it. I'll make you so sure about it. God only knows what I'd be without you. God only knows what I'd be without you. If you should ever leave me, well, life would still go on, believe me. The world could show nothing to me. So what good would leave? God only knows what I'd be without you. God only knows what I'd be without you. God only knows what I'd be without you. Would you all like to take a seat, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you. You are very welcome to hold hands if you'd like to. <laughs> Maybe a bit, a little bit too. <laughs> no, that's fair enough. I completely understand. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and a very warm welcome <laughs> to Colville Hall and the very special occasion of the marriage of Chris and Anna. My name is Tina Young, and I'm a Deputy Superintendent Registrar for the Essex Registration Service, and I'm empowered by statute to witness civil marriage. And my colleague today is Gwen, and Gwen is here to confirm that the ceremony is conducted according to the law and in charge of the necessary paperwork. Today is a very special day for Chris and for Anna for they have chosen to make a public commitment to each other through vows sincerely made and faithfully kept. And through your presence here, you are expressing your love and support for them. This place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to the law of this country for the celebration of marriages. And you are all here today to witness the marriage of Christopher Mark Collini and Anna Gwen Chapman. And if anybody knows of any legal reason why they should not be joined in marriage, you should declare it now. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're safe. So at this point in the ceremony, I'd like to invite Sarah forward, who's very kindly agreed to do our reading today. We join the dots from A to B. The line we drew from you to me, traced empty shores across the sea, over mountain top, past forest tree, along the roads and walking tracks, all bridges burned, no looking back. For the love we have, no gate can stop, no barking dog or bolted lock. For what is real is meant to be when two hearts beat, in proximity. Chris and Anna, today you will exchange vows of marriage which will unite you as husband and wife. But before you are joined in matrimony, it is my duty to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are both about to make. Marriage in this country means a union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. And the purpose of marriage is that you may always care for and support each other through every aspect of your life, 
It is a decision made by two people to share love, friendship and mutual respect. So I'm now going to ask both of you in turn a declaration that you are free lawfully to marry each other. And Chris, it's traditional that the gentleman always goes first. And the answer I'm looking for is I am. <laughs> so, uh, so are you, Christopher Mark Collini, free lawfully to marry Anna Gwen Chapman? I am. And are you, Anna Gwen Chapman, free lawfully to marry Christopher Mark Collini? I am. Thank you. Now we've actually come to the most important part of today's ceremony where Chris and Anna are going to make their legal contract of marriage with each other. This is the actual part that will make them husband and wife. So I'd like to invite the two witnesses forward and I understand that's Megan and Anna to come and join us at the marriage table. <laughs> Thank you, just one, one each side, yeah. Would you all please stand? And these words you are actually saying to each other, so if you'd like to turn and face each other, and Chris, you're going first. I, Christopher Mark Collini. I, Christopher Mark Collini. Take you, Anna Gwen Chapman. Take you, Anna Gwen Chapman. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And Chris, do you promise to be loving and to be faithful and to care for Anna throughout your married life together? I do. I, Anna Gwen Chapman. I, Anna Gwen Chapman. Take you, Christopher Mark Collini. Take you, Christopher Mark Collini. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And Anna, do you promise to be loving and to be faithful and to care for Chris throughout your married life together? I do. Christopher and Anna have actually written their own personal promises that they're going to exchange now. So, Chris, over to you. I promise to drive you around without ever asking for petrol money. I promise not to keep scoring and washing up, even though I know I'm winning. I promise to give you as much time, care and attention as I do our new 3 by 3 metre lawn. For the... I promise to make you happy when you're sad, make you laugh when you cry, and to show you the same support, care, and love for the years ahead as I have for all the years before. And Anna. It was. <laughs> I promise to open all the windows when I cook one of my four cheese pizzas. I promise to only sleep in the middle of the bed when you're away. And I promise to be 100% myself with you, which means I'll likely never do either of those things. <laughs> I also promise you that I'll love you just as fiercely as I have all of these years, be the support you need whenever, whatever situation we may face, and continue to say silly things that make you laugh no matter what. Jake, would you give your, your fan? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, would you all like to take a seat again for a moment? And you as well, yeah. And you can take a seat, Jake. Yeah. It is very warm. Do you want a fan? Are you okay? Okay. It is a tradition that when a man and woman commits themselves into matrimony, that they seal that commitment with the giving and receiving of a wedding ring. And the wedding ring is an unbroken circle that symbolises unending and everlasting love and an outward sign of those promises that you've just made to each other today. So, Jack, would you like to step forward, please? Well done. <laughs> and if you can pass to Chris the ring that he has for Anna, first of all. OK, perfect. Just place it at the tip of Anna's finger. Again, repeat after me, but say the words to Anna. Anna, I give you this ring. <laughs> Don't drop it. <laughs> Say that in front of the entire room. Anna, I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. And as a lasting reminder. And as a lasting reminder. Of the promises that we have made here today. Of the promises that we have made here today. Okay, so we're not at Anna's finger. Do you want to pop 
you yeah. engage with them back on. Will yeah, go? sure. I thought, although I think you said it the wrong way. <laughs> it's probably so. stuck. Oh, really? It's all right. Oh, sweet. And Jack, if you could pass the other ring over, thank you. <laughs> If you'd like to do the same, just place it at the tip of Chris's finger. That's it. Chris, I give you this ring. Chris, I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. And as a lasting reminder. And as a lasting reminder. Of the promises that we have made here today. Of the promises that we have made here today. And place the ring onto Chris's finger, if it will go. There. <laughs> well, Chris and Anna, this is the first day of your new life together as husband and wife, and we all hope the feelings of love that you have for each other will continue to deepen and grow stronger throughout your married life together. You have both made a solemn and binding contract today in front of your family, your friends, and your witnesses, and by the giving and receiving of your wedding rings, you have shown that you'll accept the state of matrimony. So it really does give me the greatest pleasure, but actually an enormous privilege to be able to pronounce that you are now husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> I can introduce to you your bride and groom, but for the very first time, and the very new Mr. and Mrs. Kalini.